Yeah, yeah, there's been a lot of um, chatter lately about uh, the department, about our veterans. Uh, that's certainly a focus now. Yeah, most all Americans want to take care of our, our veterans. So uh, it's been a pretty exciting couple of years for VA. Uh, some people don't realize how big the VA is. I mean, it's a real scope and scale right. um, um, discussion. Uh, we are a $190 billion a year agency. We're the size of a Fortune 10 company. Right. We service 22 million veterans a year. Uh, so uh, it, it's a very big enterprise. Um, so, uh, you know, we really, you know, took took a fresh look at the VA and at cybersecurity back in 2015. And we established a, a, a huge uh, integrated master schedule to address uh, some of the shortcomings we saw in VA cybersecurity. And again, the scale, uh, you know, right. really makes it a massive effort. Right. But we've had a lot of success. Um, I'll, I'll give you an example okay. uh, with the recent uh, WannaCry ransomware. Right. Ransomware is right. a, a big issue for us with sure. healthcare because it can cost lives if uh, yeah, an adversary Gets in. I've been reading things, and you not only have the traditional IT stuff, we got all the medical devices exactly. and all the, the Internet of Things kind of stuff. Exactly. So the healthcare industry is a real target for mm -hmm. for things like ransomware. So when WannaCry happened, uh, of course we um, rallied, we scrambled the jets, we we pulled the staff together, and and when we stopped in and looked uh, at our patching status um, against uh, the WannaCry vulnerability, we were at uh, over 98 percent across our huge enterprise, uh, which is a global enterprise, yeah. 350,000 users on our networks. Um, so that's really a testament to the hard work Absolutely. that's happened uh, at VA in terms of Absolutely. cybersecurity. Congratulations on 